what's going on YouTube um, today I've got a uh, kit from the grandfather range uh, Mr. Simcoe I'm gonna brew that up and uh, hopefully I get a smooth seamless brew day This is a pretty good uh, system the grandfather will come up with. It's actually on the screen it says add 17.8 litres of water and water treatment. So that's pretty cool. And I've got the, uh, the gypsum or calcium sulphate edition. Okay, so we'll start the session because I've filled up with 17.8 litres of water and there you go, it's heating. So we've got a wee bit to go and uh, I'll get my sparge water heater filled up and turned on and uh, I'll get back to, back to you. Okay, we're back to go in. So it's asking me to heat the sparge water, but I've already got that on the go. That's uh, up there, heating up, uh, re remaining heated at 75 degrees. So we are in good shape. We're just coming up to where I need to uh, Accept the mash out temperatures. I just wanted to have a wee scan of this have a look how clear that has come out and I've uh, Dialed back the recirculation so that it's just and only just trickling through the uh, the overflow pipe and that was thanks to Chris Meek uh, On my first uh, grandfather you video uh, saying that you get better efficiency if you ha don't have it going down the overflow which makes perfect sense okay so we're about to we're about to hit oh we're about to hit okay so all I do is click there and it, and it just automatically starts to heat up so that will uh, get to mash out temperature and then it will um, start the timer. Cool bananas. Okay, so we've started the, um, the mash out. We've got uh, just under nine minutes left to go of a 10 minute mash out. Um, everything seems to be going really well. I'm quite impressed. I'm quite impressed.
just coming to the end of mash out okay start sparge start sparge okay I'm hoping this is going to work because it'll make it a lot easier than pouring a jug at a time and mucking around with it. It's working a treat. I'll take you up here and give you a look. See. I'll just feed a bit more in. Bloody beautiful. Well, funny thing just happened. I accidentally unplugged, I thought I was unplugging my sparge water heater and I unplugged the grandfather so I I have to now manually do the boil and hop additions, but it's no big drama. Everything's going really well, except for my stupidity. Easy. Bloody beautiful. Mate, that's a good boil. Well, we've started our ninety minute. and we'll be back in 30 minutes to add our first lot of hops. I'm not going to use the hop spider because there's only 60 grams of hops in total going in this uh, and the rest is 150 dry hopped. So I don't think it's necessary for 60 grams. I'm sure the pump filter will do a good job and I've Incidentally, I've put the pump filter on. Uh, Jared from Your Shout Shop uh, showed me how he had his pump filter on, and he's actually reversed it, turned the the rubber flow inside of it tube up up the other way, so it still draws from the bottom, and he's rested the rubber bung up against the thermo well, which is a really good idea, and they should bloody come out like that to be fair so we've got about 12 minutes left till we do our first hot drop of 10 grams of Simcoe uh, so I thought I'd walk a Changi uh, quite nice beer and it is quite nice. So cheers. <clears throat> so far, other than me accidentally unplugging the grandfather, the brew day's gone brilliantly. So I'm quite happy and confident now that redoing my my roller gap in my grain mill uh, I've set it to I think it's 
two mil, it could be a mil. It was set at 0.75 of a mil. So I think that was, you know, my problem. But anyway. Cheers. Okay, so I didn't film that, but uh, I just put in uh, the 60 minute hop edition of 10 grams of Pacific, uh, of uh, Simcoe. So we'll be back uh, in 45 minutes to put the Delta Flock tab in and then flame out and then chill and then in fermenter and then done. In goes the Delta Flock tablet. 15 minutes to go. We'll set our timer. For 15 minutes. Sweet. And the next thing we've got to do is a 50 gram hop drop. Uh, and set up the counterflow chiller and uh, switch off the heat and get the um, sanitize the counterflow chiller by recircling through it and uh, yeah we'll be back soon in 15 minutes okay so we've reached the end of our boil we turn that off, we turn the power off, we set our timer for 20 minutes. So we're just uh, doing two jobs at once. We're recirculating the uh, the wort through the counterflow chiller to sanitize it, and we're also uh, doing our hop stand uh, for 20 minutes. So I shall be back uh, at the end of when we're when we're chilling down and uh, so far so good okay so we've reached the end of our boil uh, our whirlpool so now I just need to go and turn the garden hose on and get this thing chilling okay we'll just check our temperature with our uh, accurate thermometer so it's between 19 and 20 degrees so I will switch the pump off make sure my thing is shut yep and we will go straight into the fermenter through our sieve right Okay. 
just check that one more time just to be sure yeah so seventeen point nine degrees coming out of the watchula. Brilliant stuff. So I'll let this uh, go and we'll get the uh, the yeast pitched uh, and we'll get it in the fermenter. She's all tucked away nicely. Cheers. Uh, by the way, uh, I did check my efficiency, uh, put it into Brewer's Friend, the recipe, and this, the fact that I had it 21 litres rather than 23. And it uh, seems I got 78% efficiency, which is pretty damn good.